Hey everyone, Grant here for the Flame Learning Channel. In this video series, we'll run through the updates and new functionality added to Batch Paint in the Flame 2018 products. There are some small updates, as well as some large feature enhancements, so please watch the entire series so that you don't miss out. Now the first major item I want to point out is that Batch Paint is now a 32-bit float processing node. This means you can input a 32-bit image, paint with 32-bit float point precision with no clamping or clipping, and your output will be 32-bit. This is a necessity if you are painting on a variety of 32-bit media, including CGI and data passes if you need to tweak them. Now double click on the paint node for its controls and press F4 for the result view. The next feature is Viewport Navigation. You have the standard pan and zoom controls, but in Batch Paint you also have Canvas Rotation. This allows you to rotate the image to get a better painting angle. This function is not new, and you can press ALT and click on the image to rotate it. What is different in Flame 2018 is that you can click and drag on the Canvas Rotate slider and it will now adjust in decimal values. This gives a much smoother and more accurate experience when adjusting the image during a painting session. The other new default behaviour is that as you paint on an image, it is automatically painting the strokes on the alpha or matte channel at the same time. This can be disabled by disabling Paint Both. This should also work with all the available paint modes except for the eraser. You can also choose just to paint on the mat, and all the paint modes will also be respected with this option. Now up to this point, the paint strokes have just been freehand or freeform. In Flame 2018, this is now referred to as the paint type. By default, you work with the freeform type. Clicking the pull down menu, you can choose to create a line, a circle, square, and a rectangle. This makes it a lot easier to create these shapes without trying to draw them manually. Now, understandably, painting does require accuracy, and admittedly, I sometimes find the cursor can get in the way. So, here are some great keyboard shortcuts to memorize. Alt H will hide the crosshairs and leave the circular brush. The same keyboard shortcut will bring it back again. And using Alt C will turn the brush shape on and off. Next, beneath the paint types, you have the paint modes. More paint modes have been added to match what was available in desktop paint. You now have drag, shade, and the ever popular color wash. As an extra tip using the eraser mode, you can use either end of the pen, and it should be more accurate compared to previous versions of Flame. And as for blurring, the blur quality should be much better, and you can also increase the strength of the blur by adjusting the blur kernel. Now to speed up your interactivity with the paint modes, all of them have been mapped to keyboard shortcuts. Holding CONTROL and pressing 0 through 9 will select the various paint modes. In addition to the paint type and paint modes, you can also control the blending between the various paint strokes. Matching the comp node, you can go to the blending header and choose an application preference. Once you have chosen your preference, you can select the various blending modes available. For example, if you choose ADD and start painting on the image, the brush stroke will be additive and consider any pixel or strokes underneath it. Now the final functionality I wish to show you in this video is an interactivity enhancement. On the far right of the interface, you will find the brush sets which is currently set to 1. The brush sets actively save your current batch paint settings. In other words, you set up a brush using any of the various settings, and this is stored in Brush Set 1. You would now switch to Brush Set 2, 
and change the batch pane settings to something else. This is instantly updated to the current brush set. You can now toggle between the brush sets using the pull down menu, or even faster, the brush sets have been mapped to the numbers on your keyboard. So it's super quick to interactively switch between the different brush sets. And as you change them, they automatically update the active brush set so you don't have to keep remembering to save it if you adjust any settings. You have a maximum of 10 brush sets, so hopefully that will be enough to work in most painting scenarios. Finally, I'd like to point out that almost every property with regards to painting is now editable. We'll start touching on this in the upcoming videos. Be sure to check out the other features, workflows and updates to the Flame 2018 products. Comments, feedback and suggestions are always welcome and appreciated. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to the Flame Learning Channel for future videos.